Lara took Ganyago biography. If you look up the word ambitious in the dictionary, you will find a picture of Lara took Ganyago. The media personality fearlessly chased her dream of becoming a radio and TV presenter. She even conquered the male-dominated club DJ scene, despite being bullied during her early days as a female DJ. Lerato is also a businesswoman, Mick, model and Twitter's queen of clapbacks. When she is not conquering the entertainment industry, she is hanging out with her famous friends DJ Zinho and Pearl Vusi. Lerato is one who has been very private when it comes to her love life and at most times, fans don't know if she's dating someone or not. Well, sorry to the gents because she is officially of the market. Lerato's biography is a story of how a shy teenager became a household name, Lerato Ganyago re-engaged. She got married during the lockdown. She got got divorced during the lockdown and she's get remarried again during the lockdown. Lara Took Ganyago is officially off the market again. After her messy split with Thamine Delilah, it seems Lara Took has a rock on her finger, but she's left many wondering who the lucky guy is. The engagement was nothing short of amazing, as her house was turned into a dream with balloons and flowers everywhere. Lerato posted a video on Instagram to give her fans a glimpse of her engagement and it has since set tongues wagging. Mzansi is suspecting that she might be back with her controversial ex-husband Thamin Lila, who recently hogged headlines after numerous fraud allegations were leveled against him. Twitter detectives even had to dive deep to see who is she engaged to, and one of the personalized balloons had the same Lila. So she might be back with her hubby, Lara took Ganyago divorce. A whole divorce already? This has got to be the shortest marriage that Mzansi has witnessed. Lara and Thamindala have called it quits. Even Kim Kardashian was with Chris Humphrey for 72 days. In a post on Instagram Lara shared the news with her fans. She even said that she has moved out of their matrimonial home already. She did not comment much on the issue and fans hope that with time she will shed more light on what happened between her and Thami, Lara Took Ganyago House. Lara Took Ganyago is known to splash out thousands of rands on designer shoes and bags but her biggest purchase to date is her dream home. She bought the mansion in 2017 after years of hard work. I had to put so many things on hold this year so I could reward myself with a home I've always dreamed of. So grateful. Comma she wrote on Twitter. Lerato has shared glimpses of her beautiful home on Instagram and her YouTube channel. Now that she is married, she just shared more interesting news with her fans. Multi-talented media personality Lerato Ganyago left many in envy when she revealed that she is the president's neighbor. Lara revealed this whilst she was responding to socialite Linda Mokitsi's question on Twitter. Linda asked, who's your most interesting neighbor in your complex, estate or neighborhood and what do they do? Responding to the question, Lara said, the president, Lara took Ganyago marriage. Lara is very good at being low-key with her personal life especially her love life and truth be told, we don't really know who the man is that broke her heart. She recently revealed that she's moving on after her relationship of four years, that unfortunately didn't work out. Well it seems that she might have found the one. TV and media personality Lara Took Ganyago is allegedly a married woman now. According to Sunday World, Lerato got hitched to an opulent businessman last Saturday, at her mom's house in Boxburg. Metro FM presenter Lerato Ganyago is finally off the bachelorette market. Ganyago, who is fondly known as LKG in the showbiz industry, got married to a god tycoon Thamindalala in a traditional wedding. But wait, there's more. The couple is already planning to have another big wedding at the end of the year 2020. An anonymous family member spilled the bins there is a big wedding being planned towards the end of the year and, as a family, we are very happy for them and we can't wait for this big day to arrive. 
Lara took Ganyago shared insight into marital life by revealing that her husband, Famine Lila in a heavy snorer and on the other hand, she's quite the light sleeper. This is the first insight that Lerato has shared about her husband, Lerato Ganyago H. Lerato Ganyago was born on July 22, 1982. The 37 year old grew up in Johannesburg Soweto Township, Lerato Ganyago Education. Lerato attended Ipilokan Primary School and completed her secondary education at Boxburg High School. She has stated in previous interviews that she grew up feeling like an ugly duckling. Throughout high school, I always thought I was the ugly duckling. I never thought I was pretty, I was tomboyish, and I was quiet and reserved," she told Dan Elmdota on Real Talk. She built up her confidence by entering beauty pageants. The once shy teenager won several pageants including Miss Soweto and Miss Jamali. Growing up. Lerato had dreams of becoming a lawyer or a doctor. She would go on study public relations and travel and tourism at Damelin College. Before becoming a radio personality, Lerato worked as a flight attendant at Qatar Airways. She also worked for Sa Express. Lerato Ganyago career. Winning Miss Soweto in 2005 was one of the biggest turning points in Lerato's career. The pageant helped her land her first big break on Soweto TV. She attended the channel's launch with a friend and Destiny did the rest. When we got there they had a presenter missing because they were going on air that day. So this white lady from Urban Brew came to me and said, listen we are missing a presenter. I heard you are Miss Soweto, can you do this? I had never done television, live television for that matter. She told Mag on his YouTube series. She stayed at Soweto TV for about five years while working as a flight attendant at the same time. Lerato went on to become one of South Africa's biggest TV presenters, with gigs on popular shows such as The LKG Show, Live AMP and The Link. Before joining The Link, Lerato had auditioned for 50 other shows. Lerato has also worked as an actress. She started her acting career on The Fat Joe Show. She did comedy skits on the show. Since then Lerato has appeared on Move Hango, Play, Sex Tips for Girls and the Wild. Lerato started her radio career on community station, Josie FM. The job helped prepare her for commercial success. Lerato secured a slot on Metro FM, one South Africa's biggest stations. My DJ career was definitely boosted after joining Metro FM. Everything just fell into place, she told Jet Fashion Magazine. She described her darkest moment in radio as the day she had to co-host a show with Banan Mathaba. She was blamed for Bon Ag's abrupt exit. A reshuffle at Metro FM in 2017 saw both ladies co-hosting the front row. Banan left the station hours later saying she was not impressed with how Metro FM bosses handled the reshuffle. Despite having several jobs in the media industry, Lerato added businesswoman to her many titles. She owns an events management company called Black Angel. Lerato recently launched her one eyelash line, Flutter by LKG. Lerato Ganyago Past Love Lara Tuk Ganyago has tried to keep her romantic relationships private over the years. Despite the stance, she has shared some details about her boyfriends in the past. She once dated Bafana Bafana star Kadolgo Mashgo. The lovers dated for four years and got engaged in 2013. Sadly, their relationship did not last. Lerato admitted that she pretended they were still dating for eight months after their split as she needed some to process the breakup. Their split was drama-free but Lerato later revealed that she had been dogged a couple of times, leading some to believe that Catalgo had cheated on her during their relationship. Lerato has not been spotted with a new man in a while but she told her Twitter followers that they should not assume she is single. 
She made the comments after one user asked her if she had a boyfriend as she always looked lonely in her social media pictures. Just because I don't post, cars, homes, family or boyfriends, don't assume I don't have. I don't advertise my private life, it remains that, private, not a community project my love, love me for me, not what I have, she wrote in February 2019. Lara Tuk Ganyago Miscarriage Lara Tuk Ganyago has spoken candidly about the miscarriages she suffered in the past. The radio personality broke down while recalling her ordeal on Behind the Story with Pearl Thusi. She recalled the moment she found out her lost her baby. She, the doctor, kept looking for the heartbeat and she was looking everywhere. I remember I was not looking at the monitor. I kept asking her is everything okay? I won't lie, at some point I felt like lesser of a woman. All I want is someone to hold in my arms, she said. Lerato said she felt like less of a woman. She revealed in a separate interview that she suffered two miscarriages. I have only spoken about the, most recent, one because it was the one that affected me the most. That was when I really wanted to have a child. Lerato said in a 2017 interview on Real Talk. She underwent therapy to help her cope with the loss. Despite her heartache, Lerato has not given up on one day becoming a mom. She says she has not ruled out adoption. Lerato used her social media platforms to educate people about adoption. She told her Twitter followers in 2017 that adoption is not a white thing who wouldn't want to be the president's neighbor. If home girl is really honest then, we would love to pay her a visit one day, to experience this, Lara took Ganyago car. Lara took Ganyago's life motto appears to be work hard, play hard and spend hard. She has driven many posh cars over the years. Her latest purchase was a Mercedes-Benz C200 coupe that she bought in April 2019. One year earlier, she was driving around in a brand new Range Rover. Lerato is clearly one that is solely living the life that she wants and keep climbing the ladder of success.